All right, so we're just out prospecting again. Uh, we're going to check out a small little showing where we found uh, um, a piece of quartz that had uh, decent mineralization, and we're just going to go check and see if we can find the source. There is an old mine in this area. Uh, there's a couple shafts, and we have not located them. We've spent actually about 40 hours trying to find them in their old dumps, and um, the last uh, sighting was in the 60s, so we're uh, probably... Uh, out of luck maybe they've been backfilled by an old logging company or something so this area um, it's in uh, an 11 kilometer zone and it's uh, solidified and pyrotized fracture zone and you can trace it all the way for 11 kilometers and it's got uh, uh, mineralized outcrops pretty much throughout the whole zone so this property um, mainly consists of uh, gabbro diorite, uh, hornblende, epidote, quartz feldspar. Um, there's some olivine and uh, some olivine quartz nodules. Generally they uh, are smaller, uh, about one centimeter, and uh, they can be up to 30 centimeters. So. Um, we're going to go check this area out and uh, check out this quartz vein or uh, quartz showing whatever we can find and uh, hopefully it turns out good. Okay so uh, you can see all the quartz here, you can see some of the, uh, the malachite staining there. Um, we don't know what this is, if it's a showing or if it's part of the old dump, but we're going to see if we can find anything. There are a couple samples that are worthwhile to to send in for an analysis, and uh, we'll go from there. So there is another uh, shaft that we're going to go to after this. It's about uh, 350, 360 meters away, and uh, it's goes down about uh, 10 meters and then the bottom has planks and it's all uh, filled in but uh, we'll go check that out after this and there is an old dump there there is still a little bit left in the shaft and we'll uh, go sample from that as well Looks like it's pretty fresh. So the reason why we're checking out this area is it's kind of at the edge of an outcrop. Um, you can see that uh, there's a whole whack of quartz here. So there's a little bit of depression as well. So we don't know if this has been backfilled. Uh, we are on uh, crown land and uh, there is logging and stuff here so uh, last reported sighting of the shaft was uh, about 1960s so we don't know if we're going to be able to find anything but we're just going to take a look see what all this quartz is about and then we'll uh, head on to the uh, the next shaft okay so we're finding a lot of these pieces here you can see that there's uh, your malachite staining from the copper here. We're pulling out a lot of uh, ore. Some has mineralization on it, mainly in the form of calcopyrite and pyrite. Looks like there's uh, some ancathite in there too. So let us know what you think in the comments. You think this is an old uh, dump from a mine? Or you think it's part of a showing? Let us know what you think in the comments. And uh, we'll keep digging and see what we, what we can find. Okay, so we spent about an hour and a half, two hours 
uh, removing samples here. Uh, most of this is virtually barren quartz, however, we have found uh, lots of uh, patches of mineralization and uh, the rock is heavily oxidized. You can see you have some uh, pyrite in there, some pyrotite and uh, calcopyrite. So I imagine these samples are going to test uh, the same as the other mines in the area that samples look similar. Uh, the rock looks similar and mineralization is virtually the same. Anyway, we're going to head over to the old uh, shaft now and uh, see if we can pull a couple samples out of there. Send those in for analysis as well. Looks like there's a little sphalerite in there as well. Anyway, let's head over to the uh, the shaft now. Okay, so we're here at the uh, the old shaft. You can see this uh, whole area is the dump. We're gonna do, take some samples here, and uh, we'll post the assay results at the end of the video. Here's the old shaft. Uh, it is flooded right now. Being winter time, it tends to flood. So it's actually about five meters lower than that. And then over here you have a uh, small cross cut that goes in about three, four meters. The shaft is reportedly about 43 meters deep. However, only 10 meters is accessible right now. And uh, I'll post some pictures at the end of uh, the shaft when it's not flooded, of what you can see, and of the crosscut. For now, we're going to sample some stuff, and uh, then we'll head back and we'll show some of the samples as well. You can see that the uh, the ore is uh, of the same consistency as the last uh, place we were at. There is decent mineralization here, and uh, we're hoping to remove about uh, 10 to 20 kilograms. So you can see the whole sidewall there, that's all quartz, heavily oxidized in there. And uh, yeah, so we'll head on back and uh, hope you enjoyed the video everyone. Stay tuned for assay results and uh, pictures. Alright, so here's some of the samples that we pulled from the, uh, the old dump and the uh, showing. You can see that there's quite a bit of malachite staining on these. And uh, these will probably run about 15% copper. So there's also some lead and some zinc in these. But the primary thing we're after is the gold. 
silver and copper and there is some free mill gold in this uh, there is also some trapped in with the sulfides Okay, and here's some of the nicer looking samples that we pulled off. You can see that there's almost a little bit of galena in there. 